All right, so the US Open draw has just been revealed. I'm going to start with the men's draw to, uh, to start us off because we had big news with Djokovic pulling out a couple of hours ago. And now the draw has been revealed and there are some interesting matchups. Let's take a look at the withdrawals though because there's some big names that are not playing this event. So with the withdrawals, we have five players that are not playing in this event, starting with Lloyd Harris. He's not playing. We have Gael Monfils. He's also not playing. Alexander Zverev, he pulled out as well. Didn't want to play five sets in his return, which is fair enough. Opelka pulled out with injury. And of course, Djokovic pulled out because he couldn't get into the country. All right, let's start at the top of the draw. We have 32 seeds in this one. No one gets a buy in the first round because it's a slam. Everyone's going to play every match. Medvedev takes on Kozlov in the first round. Winner of that takes on Hellas or Rindernik in the second round. So tricky start there for Medi. And then you got Shelton, the wild card, taking on a quali. Winner of that match takes on another qualifier or Basilashvili, the 31st seed. So Medvedev versus Basilashvili, possible third round. Then you got the Battle of the Aussies, the Battle of the Teammates. Kyrgios, the 23rd seed, takes on Kokonakis. That hurts as an, as an Australian, that hurts to see. But that's going to be five sets. They're, they're, that's so much fun to watch. Bonzi or Umber will play the winner of that all-Aussie clash. Then you've got Tabilo versus Matrizak. Winner of that match takes on JJ Wolf or Batista Agu, the 16th seed. So nice draw for Medvedev, and especially with Kyrgios, who's got to play his best mate. And then maybe Umber, who he's played a lot and had a lot of very long matches against Medvedev. If he does play Kyrgios, we'll probably get a tired Kyrgios. Uh, then we've got the next section of the draw still in the top quarter. We've got one of the best first round matches and most intriguing first round matches. Grinja Busta, number 12 seed, takes on Dominic Team, the wild card. See what that looks like. The uh, winner of that will take on either Bublik or Gaston in the second round. Uh, then you've got Garin versus Leheka. Winner of that takes on either Krajinovic or the number 18 seed Diminor in the second round. Then you've got Hashinov, the 27th seed, taking on Kudla. Winner of that match takes on either Molchan or Montero in the second round. Then you've got Draper versus Rusevori. Winner of that match takes on either a qualifier or Felix Ogeliasim, the number six seed in the second round. So a bit more wide open in this section of the draw, this part of the draw. And of course, this section of the draw will take on Medvedev section. So quarterfinals could be Medvedev versus FAA. We could get Medvedev taken on Krinja Busta. We're going by form. Uh, if you want to go a little bit more random, maybe Kyrgios takes on FAA. The Keegs can get it all together. The next section of the draw is the City Pass section. We have the number four seed, Seven on City Pass, taking on a Quali. Winner of that match takes on either Sanego or Thompson in the second round. Then we've got Nishioka taking on Fakina. Winner of that match takes on either Fucevic or Cressy, the 30th seed, in the second round. Then you've got Serendola, the 24th seed, taking on Andy Murray. A winner of that match takes on either Milman or Na Nava, the wild card, in the second round. Then you've got Echeverry taking on Anduha. Winner of that match takes on either Dillian or Berrettini, the 13th seed in the second round. So Berrettini's got a nice draw as well. Uh, Sydney Pass Berrettini, fourth round potentially. Then we've got Taylor Fritz, number 10 seed, taking on a qualifier. Winner of that takes on either Bedene or Cashin in the second round. Then you've got Stan Wawrinka playing a qualifier. Winner of that match takes on either another quality or last year's quarter finalist, Van der Zanschul, the 21st seed. Then you've got the 29th seed, Paul, taking on Morales. Winner of that match takes on either quarter or a qualifier in the second round. Then you've got another quality taking on Van Rijthoven. A winner of that match will take on either Edmund or the number five seed, Rude, in the second round. So, look, again, like I said, this is not a, a bad section for City Pass. Uh, you know, we could be getting quarterfinals between Rude and Steph if that's the, you know, we're going by the seeds. Uh, but it could be more likely be City Pass taking on Fritz. Okay, the next section of the draw is the Alcaraz part of the draw, but we're going to start with Hercatch. The number eight seed, he takes on Otter in the first round. Winner of that match takes on either Query or Avashka in the second round. Then we've got Manorino taking on a qualifier. Winner of that match takes on either Goffin, the number 26 seed Musetti in the second round. Then you've got the number 17 seed Dimitrov taking on Johnson. Winner of that match takes on either Nakashima or a qualifier in the second round. Then you've got another qualifier taking on Martinez. Winner of that match takes on either Altmaier or the number 11 seed Sinner in the second round. And that's not a bad draw for Sinner. Then next part of the draw, you've got Chilich taking on a qualifier, the number 15 seed Chilich and obviously a former champion here. Then a uh, winner of that match will take on either another qualifier or Ramos for Noles in the second round. Then you got Duckworth taking on O'Connell. Winner of that match takes on either Vesely or the number 20th seed Evans in the second round. Then you got Chorich, the 25th seed, taking on a quali. Uh, winner of that match will take on either Brooksby or Lajevic in the second round. Uh, then you've got Grixpor taking on Correa. Winner of that match takes on either Baez or the number three seed Alcaraz in the second round. So Alcaraz Chorich, third round potential uh, in that one. And that'd be fun to watch. 
Very fun match to watch. What do they look like? They're very interesting players. They play very similar games. Very aggressive. I want to see those guys play in the third round. And if we're going to go with quarterfinal matchups, we could be going with Sinner versus Alcaraz, which has been a match we've seen over the last couple of months. Uh, once on grass, once on clay. Maybe the third one's on a hard court. Uh, maybe Choric takes on Sinner. If you want to go with a more informed guy in Choric, uh, or even Hercatch. I mean, Hercatch, Choric, Hercatch versus Alcaraz. All quarterfinal potential. Uh, in that one. All right, the bottom part of the draw now, we have the Rafa section. Let's start with Nori, though. The number seven seed taking on Pear in the first round. Winner of that takes on either Sosa or McDonald in the second round. Then you've got Isner taking on a qualifier. Winner of that match takes on either Goyovchek or Runa, the 28th seed in the second round. Then you've got Shapovalov, the number 19 seed, taking on Huzla. Winner of that match takes on either Munair or uh, Bayena in the second round. Then you've got a qualifier take on Quan. Winner of that match takes on either Jera or the number nine seed, Rublev, in the second round. So a bit more open in this part of the draw. I mean, Nori's got a good draw, but also Shapo or, or Rublev. I mean, who's to say they can't go far? Then the last sections of the draw, we've got the number 14 seed, Schwartzman, taking on Sock. Winner of that match takes on either Poprin or Seng in the second round. Then you've got Kubler taking on Ima. Winner of that match takes on either Giron or Tiafo, the 22nd seed in the third round. Uh, sorry, in the second round. Uh, then you've got Kecminovic, the 32nd seed, taking on a wild card TN in the first round. Winner of that match takes on either Daniel or Gasquet in the second. Then you got Fanini takes on Karatsev. Winner of that match takes on either the wild card Hedgy Carter or Rafa Nadal, the number two seed. We're going at it. So a great start for Rafa, but the second round could be a nightmare. Uh, and you can see there, Rafa versus Ketmenovic. That could be a third round. Um, but Rafa's got a good draw besides that second round nightmare with Fanini or Karatsev. Once he gets through that, quarterfinals there for the taking. Uh, quarterfinal potentially between Rafa and and Nori, uh, Rafa Rublev could be a quarterfinal. I gotta be honest, Rafa's got a nice draw if he can get through that second round. All right, there it is. Who's gonna win this tournament? Who is gonna win the US Open on the men's side? I'm gonna go with Medvedev because I picked him at the end of last year and I, I just think he's gonna go back to back. He plays so well here every year. Semi -final, final a few years ago, then semi-finals, then he won it last year. Medvedev loves playing in New York, so. I'm gonna go with Mehdi. Let me know down in the comments below if you're watching this later or in the chat who is gonna win the US Open.